Okay. Well, let's get back to this idea of emotionalizing. How? What's the the secret, in your opinion, for a young writer to emotionalize a story? What needs to happen within the writer for that to happen successfully? Well, that's a terrific question, <laughs> and it's terrific, and and it's about telling a story. It's about telling a story, involving your main characters into what is happening in, in the story. Now, you notice uh, you bring a James Bond picture in, and and all of a sudden. You bring him in, you introduce him, you introduce the adversary or women, men, whomever that may be, and then all of a sudden you, you develop a conflict between the two. And you see where James Bond goes, and you see where the, I'm going to say this, the bad guys go and so forth like that because he's always in the story of, 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 of dealing with good and bad. And, and uh, you develop the, that relationship. But you always have a problem, see, and this is what's beautiful about it. Like, James Bond is always a relationship with the bad guy, but this time, bad girl, <laughs> okay? And then that develops into something like that. Now, emotionally, you want to see what he feels about it, but you want to see what she decides to do because she's on the other side of the story. But don't you think that's, that's complicated for a beginning writer to tackle? No. As opposed to the, the stereotype of write what you know? No. No, 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 no. If, no? If, 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 if you're a beginning writer, then I think you have to think about emotionally, yeah. as a beginner, what's really important to you? Which direction you're going to, where do you want to go with what, what you're trying to write about? Mm -hmm. and, and you only have so much experience. See, that's one of the problems. The great thing about Hollywood in the old days, they, they had writers that were 50, 60 years old and had been through a lot emotionally. So they brought all that experience forward, you know, and, and could use it. But you get a 30-year-old writer today, there isn't much experience there. But if you're 20 years old and you're inexperienced in life comparatively, um, what's, what are the values then? Well, what can the 20-year-old bring? What you have to do is you have to read. You have to read novels by the great, great authors and so forth. You have to read and see what their experience is about and how they tell stories and so forth. Like, the value of inexperience is the fact that it's fresh and it's new. And most of us want to forget our beginnings. We want to develop ourselves into, in, in, into something. And, and, and that, that inexperience is extremely valuable and very, very interesting. Mm. But you also need, <laughs> mm -hmm. you need the experience of, of, uh, of living. You, you, you know, you have to have the, the fortunes and the misfortunes of, of having gone through life in order to tell a story. And only with that can you relate to what happens to somebody else.